Kimmer's Brewery just subscribed. Happy Wednesday everyone. Just kidding. I never um, started the Bela box. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? How's this looking here? Kim, thank you for that resub. Um, a new crane set, though. That's an update. Oh, there it is. A little lower than normal. It's fine. It'll get the job done today. Not much difference. I don't know if we'll get this green arrow or not. This can be a really short green arrow sometimes. We'll see. Oh, vacation was great. Vacation was wonderful. We had a great time. Took the dogs. Saw lots of waterfalls and lots of good hikes. Ate lots of, lots of great dinners. Can't complain. Now... Back to work, reality, and all that fun stuff. I was swamped last week with getting stuff done with work. Oh, that's bright. I do have sunglasses. Forgot I had these on my head. Lyle Paradise just subscribed. Good morning, Doc and Good Chad. morning, Lyle. Thank you for that reset. Ten month reset. Appreciate that. What's up, guy doing things? Not a long drive today to get to where we're going. Psycho One just subscribed. Psycho One, 50 months. What? And you started a hype train. Yay, a scam train. Not really in a row. If Failing still subscribes to me, he's the longest subscriber, subscriber, and I think Rambler's second. Eep, 
No, E-Man, I think, stopped subscribing for a bit, too. I think E-Man was my first ever sub. Um, that person is smoking. Or is that dust? Okay, I think that's dust. <laughs> Oh, this has been a while since we've done a, a morning stream with coffee in hand. Well, I mean, we've done morning streams, but not like just after sunrise morning. Travel the world 604 yeah, cheered. Yeah, here's the first sub. X200. Have a nice day. Thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate that. Eighteen in your life, you get that's eighteen slices of pie. Oh, I see the cranes over there foraging. They're here. We'll just park right here. Yeah, 18 pies. You get an entire pie for every lifer. That's the rules. Uh, the baby ones moved on, but these are the two same parents from last year. They're banded. They're on the other side of the pond right now. Probably can't see them in the camera at all. Yep, Mike hasn't been by streams like at all. He actually has to work with his job. I thought he became a boss. Usually if you become a boss, that means you work less. Tripod out and set up. <laughs> he probably still doesn't work. Isn't it a security issue? Let's get this backpack on.
Perfect. Oh, I hear some far away sandhill cranes. Wait, where'd they go? They didn't. Maybe they went over to the field? Or the behind? That area over there? All right, but how's everybody doing this morning? I'm gonna get another sip of coffee. As we look out here. Oh, yep, I can see him over there. Some grackles out and about. I see some mottled ducks, some the sandhill cranes. I'm going to reload. Oh, yeah, you could do treats for Watson today. <laughs> I haven't made it out there for a while. Is it pretty sanded in right now? Aren't they doing all that dredging again? What's up, Rusty? Tier six. I forgot that was a command. Oh, the old days. Nothing to find. Yeah, I mean, the only st stuff to find right now is dry sand tourist drops. Which, I usually like hunting the dry on stream anyway. So, I don't personally mind doing that. I'll take the dry all day. Easier, too. Wait, hunting, you mean in the evening? It's not night-night, right? All right, let's lock the car. So are there even more detectors out there now than normal? All right, we'll be able to get closer to the cranes, but just kind of want to show them to test things right now. Night, night, really? Isn't it entering sea turtle season? What are the official start dates of sea turtle nesting season? I should have switched cams. Here's our little, our little one pair over here hanging out. The parent teaching it how to get some grubs. Man, those are. Oh no, this is just a little pond next to um, the scrub sanctuary. Oh, I should start my e-bird here. 
while we watch. I don't think we're not like searching for any rares or anything like that today. I won't even get any first of the years today. <clears throat> They're pretty big already. No, not ribeye of the sky. Very, very big. And then the other pair is right here. So they had, so um, and you might know this, you might not, depending on how long you've been in this stream, how much you know about bird stuff. Um, Sandhill crane babies are called colts because they have awkwardly long legs and they look like little horses. You know, horses are born with awkwardly long legs. Probably, oh geez. I probably missed the hatching by like a month or so. Why are we talking about eating sandhill cranes? We'll probably, uh, we'll get closer when we go around the pond over there. Uh, but just wanted to show they exist right now. Let's see what else we have. But yeah, two successful eggs this year. Um, remember last year, their nest was like right there. This year, their nest was back over here in the middle. It was like somewhere, I think it's that's it, right in there somewhere. Yeah, it was like right in there. Female grackle. There's the female grackle. That's a female boat tail grackle. Um, oh, look, common gallinule babies. More babies. Uh, only two, that I means some of them have been eaten. <laughs> the otter, that'd be cool if we see the otter today. Little babies. Oh, is this, um, well then, then this one's off on its own. Yeah, when we were at this location, we got that surprise otter. And then over here, there it is. We got a little blue heron. Look how blue that bill is today.
Not sure what that one was. Definitely a duck, I just don't know. Duck species. I just saw something flash over this way. Let's see if we can see it from here. Is that a, oh, that's a boat tail grackle down in there. Rustling about. Alrighty. Good little start though. Duck. So that was just a duck species. Unidentified duck. And then we had little blue heron, had common gallinule, there were four of them, and common grackles. No, boat tail grackles, sorry, not common. <laughs> Un unidentified. Flying duck. We're about a ton. I don't know if Pookie hasn't arrived yet. It's fine. Oh, it might have just, it might be returning. Where's it going? It's going over there. Let's go identify this duck. Let's go up here. My guess would be a model duck. This is the one that flew across and just came back to this pond. There it is. Good one, John. You're so funny. Oh, fire trucks. Good reflection here. Well, there was until it turned its head. Okay, we have ID'd our duck. Usually you see ducks in a pair though. Okay, this one wants to be shown. It's like, show me, show me, show me. It's also got some great iridescence right now. Now it flew away, never mind. No, stop it. Fine, I'm not gonna show you. Okay, you wanna be shown then. No, you don't. 
Okay, I'm not going to show any boat tail grackles because they're not being cooperating. What's up, American? Going well. How have you been? Dang it. Every single time I turn on the camera, one's gonna come back and land here again. Oh, what are you doing with AI? I did some pretty cool stuff yesterday. Now let's just move on. Right here, there's just a great iridescence shine. So, throughout all the times I taught anatomy, well, since 2020, um, I've taught 48 sections of anatomy and physiology. So I have 48 Excel spreadsheets in a folder. So, I wanted to analyze some of the data between exam one, exam two, exam three, practical 101, practical two, practical three. I wanted overall consensuses on which exam typically is the best, which ex practical, which is the worst, um, and things like that. And what's better between the different modalities, are face-to-face -face scores higher or are hybrid scores higher? Um, so I use ChatGPT to write me a Python script that goes through each Excel file, um, taking out the data from the grade books for exam one, two, and three. And since I've changed like numbers of questions on exams and I do it by points in the grade book, I had to take the total points divided by the student score to get the average percentages for the exams. And then, um, then I did all the comparisons. So I compared A and P1 versus A and P2, uh, and then I compared hybrid formats versus face-to-face -face formats, and it analyzes all 48 sheets together and makes a new Excel file and shows me the comparisons. And then when I'm done with this semester, I could just save the new spreadsheets for the gradebooks, add it to the folder, or run the script again, and it'll update the averages. Oh, Bard. Oh, I don't like Bing Chat. Yeah, ChatGPT helped me write the Python code. I, I kind of did it uh, step by step as I went through it. Um, like first I'm like, let's just pull in all of, you know, exam one, two, three, practical one, two, three data into a new spreadsheet um, for a and P1. So I said, find files with A and P1 in the name and pull this data. And it, would, and it searched that directory for all files with A and P1 in the name and it pulled that data. And then I'm like, okay, now let's do it for A and P2. And then I said, okay, now let's take the points and turn them into percentages so we can make a comparison and then calculate the average of each category. And then I'm like, okay, let's compare. So in the file names, I would write hybrid or face to face. Um, so I'm like, now let's compare face-to-face -face and hybrid. And then, because some exams were online because of COVID, they, those grades were kind of boosted because online exams. Um, now all my exams are back to being in the classroom and face-to-face. -face. So I'm like, all right, now let's compare them excluding um, COVID numbers. So now it's uh, true comparisons of um, 
in class exams rather than face to face. Simply. So, like, why did I have to do that? No, I did not have to do that. But it sounded like a fun puzzle at the time. And I was just curious how, you know, I can see, oh, practical two is the worst practical in AMP two. Why is that? So I can change my um, lecture format, teaching modalities, and try to focus on um, maybe different forms of assessment, figure out what's going on for practical two that makes it so hard for the cardio, I mean, it's cardiovascular system, it's not an easy chapter. Um, so that could explain it too. The same thing in AMP one, like worst practical is the bones for naming all parts of the bones. Could I do anything to help strengthen that unit to make it a little bit easier for them? Not easier, but to do better. So I used it, I know nothing about coding, but um, I wrote a Python code and my, my terminal al already has the, the pip stuff in order to use Python, I just have it, had to download the Excel library things for it to use those things. Oh, I heard a kill deer, I think. Oh, I heard a woodpecker now too. All right, the cranes walked all the way over to here. Well, one of the cranes. Let's just go right here. I don't want to get too close to it. We got another duck landing over there. Also, because we're going through scheduling and whatnot, I want to be like, look, my students are doing better in face-to-face -face classes. I know students want hybrids, but they perform better in face-to-face. -face. <laughs> They're not putting the work in outside of the classroom. All right, much closer shot of the little colts. Hello. There's one. I love how each one is with a parent right now. So here's these two. So using it to be evil. Nah, it's honestly, it's showing some similarities. This sem it's because this semester, there's such a big difference. My face-to-face -face classes are doing so well. My hybrids are performing so bad. So I'm like, is it uh, maybe this, just these couple sections are just not that great. <laughs> You see that one run back there? Um, or is it an actual trend? Because like, it's like a 10% difference between face-to-face -face and my hybrid classes on exams and practicals this semester. Uh, the bands on the legs, uh, they're just little, little tags. I forget, I used to know which one was which. The, I think the, the blue and orange there is the male and the yellow and orange is the female, but I don't, I don't remember 100%. Oops. So there's one with one parent, and then we have the other one over here. Now, what I thought I also saw over here was, well, I thought I heard it. I saw, I thought I saw a quick flash for a kill deer. I'm trying to look out here. Oh, the Sandhill Cranes are getting face-to-face -face class, yeah. Let me get my binoculars out and this field here. Oh, 
Might be. There might be a mockingbird over there, though. Yep, that's a mockingbird. Oh, right behind the bench. No mo. Well, that's a guy. <laughs> Did not see him over there. Oh, kill the air is a bird. It's, um, Common grackles over here now. You can see that white eye. Finding itself a little worm there. Nom, 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 nom. And then somewhere in this tree. I hear some singing. Oh, there it is. Oh, sun angle's not great here. There's our Nomo singing its song of its people for the morning. And it moved. Oh, it's back. Alrighty. And then there's common grackle. Needing time. All right, have fun. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Something sounded like a scrub jay over there. But look how big the colts are. Sorry, we didn't even see them in egg form this year. I hear a Eurasian collar dove off in the distance. So warbler migration should be starting here in the next, like all the warblers moving back north should be starting here in the next like two weeks or so. So things should be getting warbler exciting. All the migratory ducks are about gone by now.
so a lot of things have already left, so goodbye wintering birds. It was fun while it lasted. I think robins are gone now too. I saw um, on my rare bird alert email this morning, there goes a morning dove flying through. Um, American robin was on the list as rare. So I think that means they should be gone. Yeah, I know, I know, right? Uh, that's why I did a double check. I was like, does that say American Robin? Wait, so they must have just left. There was a blue jay on the table down there. Oh, it flew away. There was that one time there was a, a little, oh, you, you hear the killdeer down there? So we might still have a chance to see the killdeer. There was that little loggerhead shrike nest we found one year, but then it fell. We didn't notice them this year. I saw a lot over my way. They were in my backyard um, for a bit. I didn't see too many cedar wax wings this year, though. And don't let the blue jay trick you. You hear this blue jay? Hear this blue jay though? <clears throat> yeah, nice little park here. Tricky, tricky blue jay. Oh, there it goes. It's flying that way now. Here, the woodpecker. Oh. I see some peckers down there. Three peckers in a tree. What are the odds of that? Oh, one just flew away. one 
So red belly, there were just three on that tree right there. There's one on the other side right now. One's over to the right that you can hear calling. Okay, that one, another one just flew down to the bottom. But yeah, there were three climbing on that tree at one point right there. That was cool. Ah, uh, there's our... Did I just hear an owl? There's our butcher bird. You've been caught. We see you through your mask. <laughs> What's up, Marshmallow? How are you doing? So this one is our loggerhead shrike. Adding the birds. Active little park this morning. It's been fun. Let's see what's flying through over there. Squirrel. Eagles cult. You, um, I'll probably show the cults again before I leave this, but we didn't do the eagle check yet. Nope. So you only missed out on the um, cult so far. How you doing, Pookie? Are you out for a walk? Bike ride? What's up, Serge? Nice. Good morning, Danger Tater. Eagles have eaglets. I don't know, that's what we're gonna check today. Um, it looked like there was, one, there was one sitting in the nest, but we didn't know if it was on eggs or if they already hatched, and we haven't been back for a few weeks, so should get a good indicator now if we see them today.
All right, let's walk this perimeter trail now. I miss my trails out there. Ooh, hopefully I can show the killdeers. Here you a woodpecker. Do female common grackles have um, white eyes? Are, are female common grackles black too? And only female boat tail grackles are brown. I never actually thought about that for common grackles. Only ever looked for the white eye. are just slightly uh, plainer, less shiny. Okay, so they're not brown. So the brown ones are, there are common grackles mixed with boat tails um, in that little spot back there. So I wasn't sure. What was what? It's the first time I thought about it. Here, uh, a blue jay picking up there. There goes a morning dove. There's a mockingbird on that limb right there. <laughs> What's up, disregard? quieter over here today. I haven't seen any hawks yet. Oh, okay. Thank you, Green Herring. Wait, get in your house for a week. Ah, catbird. I've had catbirds at my feeder so much lately. They should be leaving soon too. Now 
All we need is a thrasher, and we get all three songbirds. Oh, was that a little, oh, I think a little ground dove just landed right there. I know, right? They'll all be gone soon. You know, there's a ground dove that just flew behind us. Want to be a cat? We heard a really interesting jay earlier. I don't know if you all were, when I was looking up in that tree at that jay there. Um, I was making very hawkish sounds. Hmm. Sometimes they, uh, was it a reflective door? Sometimes sandhill cranes yell at themselves if um, they see their reflection. Oh yeah, super dried up. What's up, Wormskull? How you doing? We've gotten like no rain for the past two months. Maybe three months. It's been crazy dry. Oh, it was wayward. That's sad. Yeah, that's one problem with the, the cranes here is that they can easily get human influence and a lot of people bring bread to this park to throw it to the ducks, so they, could, they probably also throw it to the, the baby cranes, so that's a bad influence to get early on. Like the parents aren't afraid of humans either. If you remember when we were here last time, they walked right up to me sitting. Yep. Water levels are really high. Aren't you like under sea level to begin with? Oh yeah, I saw that story about all the sargassum working its way to us. It happens every year. Oh, you got a, a strange ad? Rabbit. Yeah, remember that one crane was pecking the one um, chrome, the shiny chrome? And the guy was shaving. Oh, that is a strange ad. Dang it, Twitch. Also, Twitch is forcing me into something big moved over there. Um, three minute ads in April. They changed how the um, ad incentives program works. And one minute was no longer an option. So there'll be, what, it'll be like a one minute ad every 20 minutes now.
which I'm a bit meh about. There'll be no pre-rolls, thankfully. But you'll get midstream, more midstream ads, unfortunately. You know your opinion on that? Wait, your opinion on that is a good one. Won't you get hit with a minute ad every 20 minutes, so Pookie? I mean, we do complain. <laughs> Oh wait, you won't? How many ads would you get then? Oh yeah, that's a benefit of subscribing, but I don't, you know me, I don't stream enough to um, ask for subscribers, ask you all to subscribe. I appreciate any subscription though. It does help pay for everything of course, but I don't push for subscriptions. Uh-oh, they just got a call. Things might get loud. Was that a call? That's the first time hearing it. Run pre-roll, get zero mid-rolls. Wait, so I do, you mean a three minute pre-roll for the hour and then there's no mid-rolls? If you're a monster, streamers would do that. Holy cow. But it's not a, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people who click on a stream, get a pre-roll, and immediately close out. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to show a kill deer, but did not find one today. out through here for a minute to see if I see any little killdeers running around. Sounded like they got a call, but I guess not. Now everything's mockingbirds, grackles, and blue jays. 
That's why you see a lot of birds flutter, fluttering around with this all and morning doves. And I hear a cardinal. I hear my the little laser bird. All the sparrows are gonna be leaving now too. I'm already seeing. We didn't really get a crazy ton of sparrow action. Really? How does, how do I make that setting? That's weird. I've never seen that as yeah, unless I just don't know how the ads work. Here, I'll show the colts, the the cranes again here for anyone who might have missed them. Okay, for Pookie. Here they are. Each parent is taking one. Are you gonna go under? Doop. Adorable, I know, right? They're very active this morning. Moving around a lot. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. We're getting real close now too. Look how far they dig their their face down in there. Then they're like, okay, your turn. See, who needs aerators for your grass when you just have a sandhill crane? We're looking for grubs. Look how close they are right now. Right there they are. Crazy, right? Ibis has come air rate. I know those two, right? They definitely don't care about my presence too much. All right, they're getting closer, so I'm... Oh, found a grub for it. That was neat. Too bad I didn't have the camera up then. All right, let's let them do their thing. They're walking a little closer to me, so just want to give them their space. I don't want to teach them to walk up to any human. So yeah, they dig down there looking for worms and whatnot.
<laughs> oh yeah, I did hear it. A cardinal. Those ones are. Let's add that. <laughs> Very talkative. Oh, and then there's a red-bellied woodpecker. Pretty much all the normal stuff out here today. Oh, is that a thrasher? Could that be? Looks brown. I should have looked at my binoculars first before saying something out loud. Nope, just oh no, it is. Yep, brown thrasher. Oh geez, there it is. Look at it. We got it. Oh yeah, worms do as well, true. And now it disappeared, did it go up? And that we got it a brief second. We got our momentary thrasher. Enough for ID confirmation. I know, right? That's why I was like, is it? It, was, it had its back to me, so I only saw like a red tint. I'm like, not a lot of stuff has that red tint. But I do not expect a thrasher just to be out there standing. I think it was with another one over to the right as well. Have that grill, I know, right? It's such the uh, it's such a stereotypical park grill. I wish we could just walk that way and see the eagles, but no, the park is closed. So we have to drive up and around and go from the other side of the trail. Because the eagles are in the scrub sanctuary, which is closed, but we're at the south end of the sanctuary right now, and the eagles are at the north end. And we can't walk through the sanctuary to get to the north end because we'd be trespassing on closed property. Ugh. permit or something I mean they can't even get a permit from the city to do the scrub restoration that's why it's closed the endangered lands program it's like hey we're coming in and cut down our trees to restore scrub habitat like proposed and the city's like no we like our trees and then so the scrub people were like fine we're closing the sanctuary until you issue us a permit and now it's in courts and things take forever in courts and it's been over a year now i think yeah well over a year now
Yeah, it'd be cool if they can give me like a little card and be like, I'm allowed here. Or maybe I'll make a Ron Swanson permit. I can do what I want. Yeah, I wonder if I reach out to EEL if they'd let me. Yeah, except they see, you know, a Twitch live streamer, you know. Like, what? So I can't do the, just not even say the Twitch part. <laughs> oh, red bellied woodpecker landed right there. Hello. It's a male. Yuri, Yuri just thank you for the resub. Well, that's for me. I never thought about reaching out and asking. All right. Last thing I'll show here before moving on to the next location. Actually, I'll probably show those a little better too. Um, but technically, since you're all allowed to subscribe and give bits, I'm a commercial educator. That's where things change and you get in a gray zone. You're like, oh, you're on our property for commercial reasons? Turtle. Nah, I couldn't really get a good shot of the nest. up dude is this a red-eared slider oh I know it's just um, things change a lot for um, activities when you have a um, commercial aspect to it and we're like oh you're using my land it's commercial and over here is the baby gallinules there's an ant pile near me i gotta be careful only two left i don't know how many there were at the start though Nice. I hear something. Oh, that was a alarm. They're big feet. <laughs> Already. Okay, bye to you too. Gotta move on to the next location now. <laughs> Red belly woodpecker, that's not a tree. 
I guess so it's hitting that uh, metal on the roof right there on the other roof down there probably dinging that makes grubs come out the sound vibrates through and grubs are like ah what is that and then the woodpecker's like it's me Nope, not finishing, just um, changing locations to go check on the eagles. Just put that like that. taco I think I want to try a new side for this probably shouldn't mess with this now but oh well I'm doing it because loading it in might be easier from this side There, like that, let's try that. Eggos with little ones moved on. <laughs> yeah, Eggos. <laughs> Need to change the shoulder Velcro here. All right, let's see how this setup works now. easier to at least get into the car. Now it might not be perfect yet. much easier much more string available okay location change time all right let's end the sixteen species here today not too bad be able to move it back a little more. All right, model duck, ground dove, morning dove, saw a few of those. Sandhill cranes, little blue heron, red-bellied woodpeckers, blue jays, gray catbirds, northern mockingbirds, common grackles, boat tail grackles, uh, northern cardinal, common gallinule, killdeer, shrike, and brown thrasher. Oh no, this was a... This was a complete checklist. Oh. Um, I have a drone, yeah, but 
we've done drone stuff. It's just not... A great drone. Alrighty. Location, change, time. Let's hope that works. Let's see how this is looking. A little better. Let's do a little bit more. Like that, though. Sorry, you got the hand. There we go. That's a better angle than the other one. All right, short little drive. We got to go out and around though, so it'll probably be like 10 minutes to get to the other side. I'm going to the little parking area for it's a shorter walk to get to the Eagle Zoo. All right, but no, solid time there. We got to see our colts this year. They had two successful hatchlings. So that, that sandhill crane pair is doing well. Putting more sandhill cranes out into the world. That one last year, I think one or two the year before, and I wasn't paying attention before then. Now, let's go get some good news on our eagle friends. Apollo and Gemini are the parents' names, right? Is that what we named the parents? Or is it Orion and Gemini? Wow, Sandhill Crane, don't go so close to the road. They're right over there on the, beside the road right now. All right, lots of traffic. Well, just lots of cars coming both directions right now. Sandhill crane pair definitely has. The tags are the same color as last year. How you doing, pizza? Getting to see a condor. I mean, the Eagles were there last year. It was just unsuccessful. It was an unsuccessful nest. Don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, the nest was not successful. Dang, you're either dealing with tons of weather or no weather. But I feel like you don't get a happy in between. Someone ran over some cones yesterday.
could have only have walked straight through the middle of the park and not had to go all the way around. But yeah, maybe I, I should reach out to EEO. I know, right, pizza? And fix everything? Yeah, right. Since I heard Trump call him Meatball Ron, that's all I think about. Not all I think about, but whenever I think of someone mentions Ron DeSantis, I, I laugh in my brain thinking Meatball Ron. <laughs> on this road is closed. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the really cheap brand of the bag of frozen meatballs you can get at the store? Banquet meatballs. Does Banquet make meatballs? Probably not. How about Banquet Meatball Ron? Is that more fitting? Not like pizza, you probably do like really good homemade meatballs. So like not those kinds of meatballs. We're talking about like frozen meatballs. buy pre-made. Yes, you never bought pre-made meatballs before? Uh, not that one. Do not recommend. I think it's this one. Yep, there we go. There's a cardinal. So this is technically still the scrub. <laughs> Same area. Meathead. <laughs> Great value meatballs. 
<laughs> yeah, great value brand meatballs. That's what we're talking about. Not your meatballs pizza, don't worry. Oh, we had um, that, uh, was it Chef Boardee, um spaghetti rings and meatballs? Yeah, yeah, SpaghettiOs. Make it beep. Are all treats redeemed? Remember, we can do treats today. I should have bought that place when it was for sale. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to be looking to the right here. Luz, thanks for the follow. You might be the first follow today. For Watson. Cash for the house. I know, right? It just would have been such a cool location with the sanctuary right here. Granted, you would have had to deal with a lot more like riffraff walking right next to this walking trail and whatnot, but still would have been cool to have this just to, you know, walk Watson every night and things like that.
Oh yeah, that one was much cheaper too, back when I was looking at houses. I never actually toured that one, no. It didn't look great in the, the photos, so. I was like, meh, don't need to see it. Well, on their wall they wrote, enjoying my privacy, keep moving. They really don't like people walking back here, huh? <laughs> neglected. Oh, he's definitely not neglected. All right, I see the nest. Let's go over here yet. Yeah. Oh, should we do a prediction? Should the prediction be babies or eagles? I think just seeing eagles could be the prediction. Yeah, all the Phoebes are gone now too. That's a catbird. Yeah, I haven't seen a Phoebe in a bit. If there aren't eggs or um, eaglets, exactly, yeah. Every now and then, if the eagles are bigger, both of them might be out hunting. All right, now I can't zoom in until the prediction ends. Artichi, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. What were you up to today? Good morning, Billy, though. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so this is just what we see in Eagle today. Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> I've heard of that game, never played it though. All right, is prediction over? Thank you for whoever did that. All right, now, there's our tree. It's safe to zoom, right? Actually, there's our tree. Let's move a little bit more this way. Now, did not look promising when I looked through the binoculars. And that's looking like an... Wait, is that something fuzzy on the right? Oh, that's an eaglet! There's an eaglet! There's a fuzzy blob on the right. Could not see that with the binoculars. I see floof. There's floof. <laughs> Probably going to get a lot of grackles right now.
something hopping around down to my right, too. Oh, is that a head or a tail? I might have to try changing an angle here. Oh, on the start screen? Dang. I checked it before I left today and it was good. <laughs> so there's definitely one confirmed. Oh, just got windy here. Yeah, that's its head right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a slightly different angle. So we see it in there. I don't see the parents. So both parents must be out hunting right now. Sometimes they could be perched on a limb further away, but I didn't see anything in my binoculars. Oh, we're getting some movement there. Yeah, let's change our angle a little bit more to the left and see what we can see here. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's the problem with this nest is we're so far away and it's a really high nest. So it's hard to see the eaglets until they're larger. So it, it could be that when we saw the, um, the eagle sitting on the nest a few weeks ago, that um, they were already hatched. We just couldn't see the heads or they weren't up and moving around. I see something soaring over there. I wonder if that's an eagle. All right, let's check from right here. We didn't move too much, but just a little bit of movement could change a lot for branches and whatnot. Let's check right here. Wait. Yeah, it's all eagle nests, yeah. Now before, when we could get into the park, there were some great spots from the dirt road that's over there that we could see into the nest pretty well. Um, but unfortunately, it's not as great from this side. And as you can see, it's pretty far out there. Oh, there we go. There might be two. Just missed the head move, but definitely a, a better angle now. Let's move up just a little bit. Sorry, it's windy along the road here. Oh, the dome ball for the magpies, yeah. So there's definitely floof there. Let's see, I do see a dark cloud, so I need to check this cloud real quick. We're okay. We're all waiting patiently for movement. Yeah, I wonder where the parent. Uh, I'm looking for anything soaring, don't see anything, maybe on the other. There's a little bit of movement. I missed it, I was looking away. Oh, there's a head. There's one head confirmed. One head confirmed. They grow very fast, yeah. 
I remember that when we were watching the other ones last year. Oh, let me, as we're waiting and watching here, let me log in to my server. Sorry if you hear double audio here for a minute. So you all need to watch the screen right now. Yeah, I think there are two as well. Just want to confirm that other one moving. Brown thrash right your feet are nice. Okay, let's see if that worked now. Try a slightly different angle over there. Maybe can look into the nest a little differently. Okay. There's definitely, a, there is a head off to the right. So if we can see another head to the left, that's not a wing. I can confirm it for us. I'm hoping like a parent comes back with food and then every action gets crazy. That's the ideal situation right now. There is movement in the back there, yeah. I just don't know if it's a wing. What's up, Brief Daddy? All right. Let's do a slight angle change probably the best angle so far so let's remember this spot though now let's go down here just a little bit you saw the second one moving I'm hoping down here we can see the one behind. If there's a, a clearing we can find. There's not a lot of clearings right here. off. You should probably grab his leash. If there are three, I'd be those poor parents. <laughs> those are going to be some disheveled parents if you see them. Okay. Now we might get an opening here. Camera has to be like really high up for there. There won't work. 
I think I see a parent now, though. Yep, I just found a parent. Let's go. Now, we can't see the nest from here, but let's just show the parent perched down there. I might have to raise all my stuff up a bit. Holy cow. There's one parent. Not too disheveled looking. Now again, we can't see the nest from here though. Just wanted to show that the parents are nearby watching over. Quick sing the anthem. Right here's the road we used to go on to see all of these. So let's try moving back down here. I think there's a little path to seeing the nest. Yeah, there's no way to see it through there. Let's move down just. Gotta look through too much brush there. Ah, one horrible tree in the way. Let's see. This one, tree in the way. All right, we gotta go down a little further here. Maybe. button. Yeah, I can't see anything from this angle, really. Oh, there, you can see some movement, but I uh, guess, yeah, this definitely confirms two. You can see floof on the left and floof on the right. How you doing? Looking at the eagle? Yeah, there's, I think there's two little babies. Yeah, there's two, two um, eaglets in the nest there, I think. Oh, they got, there's some, then how many's in there? I think there's two. That's why I'm I'm checking all my different angles out here to see if I can confirm the second. Definitely one moving around. It's hard to see up in that nest now. Oh. And the wind doesn't help. <laughs> mm -mm. The down there is just a little better, but yeah, definitely uh, at least one or two eaglets. Last year, there were none in the nest. And the year before, there were two successful ones. So. Good to see that there are two this year now. After is she staying on the nest with them, or is she um, hunting, hunting? there's there's one right over there right now. You can you might be able to see it first on the limb up there. Oh yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. So it's not too far away. I haven't seen the other one yet. Probably out hunting is right now. The, the adult over here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what a blast! <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, not getting as much movement here. Yeah, not only was that a Florida man, it was a Florida man on a bike. Those are, um, last time we talked to a Florida man on a bike in this location, we were told to F off. Now we're good history here.
Uh, far away from the nest? Pretty far. We're back here. So looking through a lot of brush right there. Let's go back to that other angle. It seems to be the best there. <laughs> yeah, we get we have a little bit of zoom out here. A little bit of zoom. Oh yeah, it's a great tree for an eagle nest. Here's, I think, our best angle of the nest. Let's just keep getting on that side. So I might have to raise this up. Oh, nope. I think we can get a good angle right here. The camera's a little lower than uh, my height, but... There we go. Now we wait for movement again. Okay, so that one has, yeah, definitely two in there. I think, I think I'm uh, agreeing on the two. Aren't they hungry for breakfast? Don't they wanna come and get some breakfast? Oh, no problem, Flamingo. Yep, sleepy piles of floof. Eagles have been doing so much well now. Or so much better, I meant to say. Eagle population is increasing a lot better than it was a couple of years ago. Amazing what conservation efforts can do. True. Oh, if deal, that would be sad, yeah. Oh, nice, Rick. Oh, did I miss some movement while saying hi to the runner and reading chat? I just want to get both heads up at the same time. Head was poking. Oh, there's the head. Oh, oh. I don't know. Oh, there. I do see a little white head in the back. Did you see that little 
speck of a head behind the wing there. So there's one, that's obvious. But I did see like a little white rounded head like thing behind its wing that's chewing on right there. Remember that one year we saw the, the, the eaglets here and um, they were doing flight training, hopping up and down, batting their wings? Uh, we saw one parent over to the left, uh, but not the other one yet. Oh, so they're doing flight training now? Nice. Did you see the window to wildlife? Um, the red-tailed uh, hawks, they have a leucistic one. They're watching a leucistic red-shouldered hawk nest and they laid an egg. Oh yeah, this nest is really big. This nest has been here for a couple of years now. A very, very big nest if we zoom out here a little bit. Sorry about the barking dog. early 90s a second one really how often do eagles do a, a second clutch uh, I'm not sure when these ones hatched um, when we saw them like I think it was about a month ago the the eagle was sitting on stuff but we didn't know if there were young ones down there or not Oh, oh, that's sad. Apologies for the dog. Hey, can you move your wing so we can see if there's a sibling behind you? What do we name them? Let's say there are two. What should we name them this year? Ah, uh, that makes sense. No, we can't name them Watson and Darwin. Those names are taken. Oh, that looks like a different wing moving now. Oh, there's the second, second confirmed. That was a head that popped up. Lefty and righty, fluff and floof. <laughs> I kind of like fluff and floof. Foldy and trash grabber. Okay, yeah, there's that. Oh, there's, two, there's both heads up. There's two heads. You see that white little fluff back there. Meatball and turnip, yes. 
Yeah. Meatball and turnip are good names too. So we had um, Rosalind and Franklin were the first two hatchlings. We're just generically calling the parents Apollo and Gemini. Um, so Rosalind and Franklin were the eaglets two years ago. Sadly, last year there were no eaglets. Um, again, the parents, the two eagles that come to the nest, we're just calling them um, Apollo and Gemini. And these ones now might be called Meatball and Turnip. Doesn't really go with our naming themes at all, but flow right. <laughs> Apollo <laughs> the third. <laughs> yeah, who knows what number they're on now. Okay, now it'd be really cool if one of the parents come back to the nest, but they're probably like, I need time away from the kids. Uh, Cassini and Huygens, that's a good one. Andromeda and Cassiopeia. Okay, now you're making, what's up, Stoney? Mercury is one, too. Mercury and Artemis. Oh, there's a good sit up. Oh, a good wing stretch. Ugh. I think Artemis should be one because of Artemis starting this year. Yeah, Artemis is definitely going to be one. Iggy and Pup. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh, we're getting lots of movement now. Wobbly legs. Lemon and tangerine. Yeah, so we saw that parent on the other branch. So Artemis. Other ones up now? So we have an Artemis, we have a Mercury, I think that confirms two, I don't think we've seen any more indication of three. Barking dogs. One thing I don't like about this location is I have houses to my back and you can't really. Oh, that was a big poop. I. And I'm not good at guessing the age here. Maybe a month? Wings don't seem too developed. They're still pretty... See, there's a good wing look. The wings aren't too, too developed yet. I know, right, Flamingo? Thanks for the clip screen, Harry. All right, yeah. Uh, did you clip where I said 
introducing Artemis and Mercury. <laughs> Yay, this makes me happy. When I first looked up in the binoculars, I didn't see anything up there, so I was like, no. Interesting. Craving sushi. <laughs> ah, big stretches. It's awesome, Stony. Till we get a feeding. Unfortunately, I can't go too much longer. Could only get out here for a short morning section uh, session. Got to be home by just before eleven. Parents begin spending more time away from the young, often perched in nearby trees. That's exactly what's happening right now. We get heads, heads perching up above the nest, and parents spending time away. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the camera, the stream, and just everything will be fine. What could go wrong? So up and active now, though. Up oh, another poop. All right, I think definitely only two, unless there's a third one hiding somewhere. I don't see it. So I think only two. On the one in the back, yeah. Looking right at us right now. You think we're being watched? Oh yeah, this is this is great right now. Let's move a little higher up on the camera now. Oops. Two thirds roll. Eat, sleep, poop, yep. Well, I'm happy to see the nest was successful this year. Wonder what foods they have up there right now. That's the nice thing about nest cams, is you can see the sort of foods they're eating. Rando Lopez, thank you for the follow. Yeah, old birds and feathers. Ah. 
They seem to be getting along for the most part. I haven't seen too much jarring at each other for nest dominance. And it looks like they're laying back down. Oh, jeez. All righty. And we are back. I think that's our eagle check. I'm guessing the feeding already happened this morning. Parents are out on break mode now. So, can't wait around too long. But we got a good update right there, huh? I also want to get away from this barking dog. Made your day? Oh, hey. You're welcome. Made mine too. I'm worried about my little eagles. So there is a launch today, but unfortunately I teach. Else out here is a grackle. Was an Eagles fan? I'm not an Eagles fan. <laughs> For lunch, I know, right? Oh uh, yeah, there's boat tail grackle sounds, common grackle sounds, and whatnot. This sounds like a butter butt. They probably will be leaving soon too. just flew away. All right, later, Martian. Enjoy. Oops, sorry. Just got something in my eyeball. What's up, Barnacle? I know, right? It's 
missed two eaglings and you missed the baby sandhill cranes. Pretty much missed all the main content today. <laughs> no big deal. Barnacle does like her barnacles. All right, nice shade spot right here. Maybe some warblers will show up. Not really here though. But it is time. David Alexander 82 just subscribed. Less than three. This still works. The kestrels are probably gone too now, right? I haven't seen a kestrel for a hot minute. Emote party. Thirty four months, Dave, that's crazy. Thank you for the resub. Should we disturb him? Oh, he heard the camera turn on. He heard it. Oh, I forgot to email the puffin person. Um, so the puffin guy, you see the puffin thing right there? That puffin koozie? Um, someone from puffin emailed me and said, Two people who ordered Puffin online said my stream was a recommendation. And the company, someone from the company actually emailed me and asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway on my stream. And I still need to email back. Did anyone order a Puffin koozie? And write in the comments that Dr. W40 sent me because I never told anyone to do that. <laughs> All right, let's give him treats. Oh, is it? Well, that's in. Are you there? Are you frozen? Oh, there it is. Oh, you see Darwin's toy right behind Watson there in the hallway. Three. Four. It's not empty. I checked it before I left. It's just not shooting each time. There it goes. Let's do another one. I think there are a few misfires. There we go. And then one more.
Brad, did two, so apparently two people ordered a puffin and said I recommended it from my stream, from Beach and Boards Fest. So remember, that was from Beach and Boards Fest. So does, uh, do some of you have secret little puffin koozies right now, like that one right there? Watson, what are you doing? Good boy. Watson says, thank you, everybody. Good little guy, yeah. All righty. Ordered impulsively. I don't man. I don't know the the that little um, spacesuit koozie is kind of cool though. But they did uh, ask if I want to do a giveaway, and they said they can ship it directly to you or they can ship it to me and I can do the giveaway. I think they could ship it directly to you. I don't, I'd have to confirm if they do international shipping though. They probably don't do international through a giveaway. So it might just be a US based giveaway. But then I don't have to worry about shipping anything, which is nice. So yeah, that, I just remembered I need to respond to that. I know we don't really do giveaways here, but they're like, thanks for shouting us out. So I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> you just couldn't walk the other way. She, she wouldn't do it. <laughs> my, my wife ruined her. Say hi. Hi. She's a good dog. She won't it. Hi. Yeah, I was just looking at birds. Did you find those eagles? Yeah, there's two chicks in there. Awesome. Yep. I, I remember there was a, a bunch of them. My daughter was, was mm -hmm. watching them and they disappeared. Yeah, last year they didn't have a successful nest, but this year, two eaglets. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Come on, Farrell, leave him be. Oh, you smell my dog. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, have a good one. You too. <laughs> Imagine if they made a dot koozie. <laughs> never. They would never join contests. Well, just as long as you have an address in the US, that's what matters, but you'd have to be able to get it eventually. Alrighty. Who is online to raid today? Oh, solo bike tour Portugal for Sarah Bridgewater. That sounds fun. Maybe we'll go to Window of the Wildlife because I talked about those hawks today. Let's see if they're showing it. Yeah, I'm going to send you all to Window to Wildlife today. So window, window, window to Wildlife, uh, run by uh, Connor, um, who helps out with Alvea Sanctuary. Um, but he's, one of his side gigs is running eagle and nest cams, and they have a cam on a leucistic, I think it was a leucistic red-tailed hawk that has two eggs in the nest, so that'd be really cool to follow. And thank you for five minutes to stream. Yeah, thank you. I know it was a shorter stream today, two hours and 40 minutes. But I got to get home. I got to get ready for work stuff and get some work stuff done. Before going into work, I work from like a 1 to like 8.30 today. So I got to get, and I have like some paperwork stuff to get done before going in. Um, so yeah, and then I need to eat lunch and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We got a weekday stream in. So all you haters out there. Um, Probably a Friday stream, 
I don't know on Thursday yet. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for being here today. I appreciate the support. We got to see has two has a red tail, two eggs. Nice. Yeah, Hoot House is doing well. I think XQC rated Hoot House, which is kind of funny. Um, and yeah, thank you all for being here, uh, for supporting the midweek stream. And I shall see you all next time. Awesome checkup today on the Colts and the Eaglets. So all happy news today from today's stream. That's always a good feeling. Alrighty, take care, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks, mods. Thanks, lurkers. Thanks, chatters. Thanks, viewers. Thanks, subscribers. Thanks, bit givers. And thank you, mods, uh, if I didn't say that yet. Alrighty, thank you all. Don't forget to explore, engage, and educate. Right here is what we found. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh, it just flew. It's flying. It's flying. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> Educational stream. Oh wow, God, no way. Look at that, that's wicked. Our little student here, Watson, made a great example of epic. Oh my gosh, look at that shot. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's protecting it, can you believe that?